So let's clone the repository to the local Git repository. And there are three ways to do it. Of course, SSH, Google Cloud SDK, and manually generated credentials. So choice is yours, which one you want to opt, but I'm going to go with my Google Cloud SDK. So the step one is that you need to install the Google Cloud SDK and you need to configure your uh, project there, right? So you need to, uh, first of all, do the authentication by running this G Cloud in it. So let me open and uh, say the G Cloud in it. So what you see is that uh, my settings are already configured for a region, zone and my account and then uh, the project is already selected here. Right? It's, it's the same project here if you can see in the next step. So you need to configure this first and then you need to come up and uh, do it. Right. So let me just quit this. So next step is that I want to clone the repository. So G cloud source repos clone the restaurants hyphen hyphen project. And let's just uh, go to the directory. So I'm going to go to documents and hit this G cloud command. So let's just wait for the cloning to get finished. Now this is the most convenient way to come up and clone, right? So if you go with the SSH or the other, other way around, so you need to do some several configurations. Now let us see here. So we got this directory called restaurants coming up. So I can say CD restaurants. And now let's say git status. So there are no commits yet and we are on the branch master. So what I'm going to do in my GCP demos here. So let me take all of this code, right? So let's copy all of this code and bring it to our cloned repository here, right? So I'm just going to paste all the code here. So once I do this, now I can run the git status again. So we got pretty much, uh, uh, you know, files to be added. So let's say git add. And now once again, recheck the status. You have the files uh, which are supposed to be committed. And I'm going to say git commit hyphen m. This is going to be our initial commit. So you committed all the files and you can re again check the status. So there is nothing more that you can come up and commit. So we are good to go and we can now push uh, our code to the origin as master, right? So let's come up and say git push hyphen u origin master. So we'll wait for this push operation to finish. So here we are, we are done with 26 uh, uh, you know total uh, objects which are now synced so let me now refresh this same page now initially when there was no push available so in this repository we were able to see the configuration steps but now since you have the files pushed you'd see that there is no configuration and all of these files they are appearing here now right so src main java com ADPL restaurants, you see the same restaurants application.java. Now, the good thing is this that the, with the Google Cloud Source repositories, you have these inline uh, file editors, you can edit the code, you can just keep on managing the changes here as well, right? So, it's a kind of you can say a code editor on the cloud as well. So, this is how you uh, got the second part done that how you're gonna work on the cloud source repositories and you're gonna push the code to the repository. So there are certain steps and you can use any step and you can perform the action. So our next process is going to be containerizing the application and that is something which we're going to do with our Docker.